parents south of Boston are furious tonight. Their five-year-old son, who is legally blind, was left alone on a school van. The van driver has now been fired, but as Ken McLeod reports from Somerset, the boy's family says that doesn't change what was a frightening ordeal. Go, go, Power Rangers! As five-year-old Tristan proudly showed me his toys tonight, his mom was still frustrated. So that was really when my heart started to sink. She's talking about Monday afternoon when Tristan's daycare called to say the legally blind youngster hadn't been dropped off by the van that normally brings him from preschool. That triggered an hour of panic capped by a phone call from the boss at Fisher Bus, the transport company. And I said, please tell me you did not leave my son in that van. But that's exactly what had happened. A sweaty Tristan was found asleep in the van on the company lot where his driver had parked it and gone home. The 60-year-old van driver told police she didn't see the boy at a glance because he was slumped over in his seat. But she's been fired and cited for failing to inspect her van after the trip as required. It's endless, the amount of things that really could have happened to him that day. I'm grateful that they didn't, but I can't stop playing in my head that they could have. Choo, choo. Indeed, the blind boy could have woke up and wandered out into the street or suffered the same fate as a New Jersey girl who perished in a car that very afternoon. In New Jersey, the same exact day, there was a little girl who died in a hot car. Both the transport company and school superintendent have apologized, but Tristan's mom wants new rules mandating the vans be double-checked by a supervisor. Fisher bus told her it was their first such incident ever. They've never had an incident in 50 years. That's amazing. But now they did. He moved his leg. And in the two days since, Tristan has told his mom he'd rather not take the van. In Somerset, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.